Hi, made it back to the bus barn. Whew. The end of April, can't believe it. It's the 30th of April, 2024. I'm just gonna give you a little snippet. As I'm strolling through the YouTube channels, I fall upon a lot of things. I have a piece of, um, of, of, of little documents I have taken and put it into a file that says living your life without Jesus Christ is vain. Living your life without Jesus Christ is vain. Um, take a look at the row of stuff I got. And these are people that um, actually want to take matter in their own hands and not put it in Christ's hands. The one thing that I did find was um, documentaries of um, a YouTuber that is a bona fide pilot and he does debriefing. And a debrief is what people don't like. It's telling you straight up what you're doing wrong and how to prevent accidents and all that. Whew. Fell across um, the first one. It was a lady. She was flying in a plane. And I guess it was her first time flying a plane. Anything she wants to accomplish, she will do it. She will accomplish it. Well, anyway, she went to flight school, wanted to learn to fly, and she did. And she got her little Piper airplane. And um, she went through all the tests and everything, and she passed the test, passed it all. She got a little uh, pilot license, and she had a little YouTube channel going on, which is great. And she was telling people, you know, um, how to fly the plane, all the stuff, went through her checklist and all that. And she rolled off, and she was flying by herself in the air and um, talking to um, the control tower and all this. And... She was just having a happy time because, you know, she, I, I, I feel really, you know, good for her because, you know, she was very proud, very proud woman. She, she put her mind to it and she accomplished things. They're all kind of weird. So, but anyway, she accomplished it and it, it, it was beautiful how it was done. Okay, and then she went on to, um, I don't know how that happened, but she took her father along in the flight. And when she took her father along, he was sitting in the co-pilot seat. She was sitting in the pilot seat. And I don't know what she might have told him before they took off. You know, don't engage in me at all. Let me figure this thing out and we'll go up. And we'll go down safely. Well, what happened was they did go up safely and all the other stuff was going on. She was busy doing her YouTuber thing. I'm in the plane. I got my father here and, and we're flying and stuff like this. And what happened, she reached over and accidentally touched the button to the automatic pilot. Now they said it's okay to fly with the automatic pilot and I guess that's what she was doing all the time. You have that confidence in that automatic pilot. That automatic pilot, if you don't know where you're going, it would actually direct you back to the airport and will pretty much almost land itself. You know, you, you're going to have to put some little effort in there, but it will turn you around and get you back to where you're going. She turned it off. And so she was trying to figure out, like, oh, no, how do you turn this thing on? It was so sad. Um, she was at the, she was, it was YouTube Live, so I guess she was doing a live stream. And she goes, oh, I, I can just laugh at myself and laugh at myself and laugh at myself. But, you know, she says, uh, you know, this is really funny. I have always flown with the autopilot. She only had like a hundred and so hours. I, I don't know. I got to look at it again. Uh, she didn't really have, you know, the thousand or two thousand hours that, you know, you really take to be a master, you know, really good master at it. 
let me see if I can shut, if I shut this door, I'm going to have no air coming in because it's almost time for me to go, but it's not yet. So, but anyway, um, she's going down, down, clear day, can't do a visual landing, didn't want to, didn't want to get on the mic and call for backup, like, you know, control tower, you know, where am I? You know, can you guide me down? Please, can you guide me down? And she didn't want to do that. She was trying to figure it all out. But meanwhile, when she should have gotten on that to try to, to guide it down, she was getting closer and closer to the ground. Her father didn't say a thing because he doesn't know how to drive a plane. He doesn't know how to fly one. And he's just depending on her that she would get it straight. But her pride, pride, it's like, boy, if I let somebody know that I've been driving, flying this thing all over the place on autopilot, I, I know how to do things, but I let the autopilot handle it. But it went all the way down. <sighs> Crashed into the ground. Her and her father, no more. They're gone. Pride would kill you, boo. Pride would kill you. And if you don't have no Christ in your life, if you didn't even know, if that's me and I was flying and and, and I've been doing stuff by autopilot and, and I get mixed up, first thing I would do is ask the Lord, my Savior, Jesus Christ, Lord, Father, please help me. You know, Jesus, please help me. I don't know what I I am doing. Then call Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. <laughs> you know, or Pam, Pam, Pam. One of the two. Uh, I'm in the air. I can't find the airport. And you want to have to help me direct myself in. The Lord will have favor on you. Supernatural favor on you. That's only if you're in Christ. But sometimes people can call out in desperate need. And the Lord will here and come to your rescue and after that's done don't say oh when the whole thing is over whoo that was just lucky some people don't do say that the second one that i was looking at the the, the pilot um um he was doing a debriefing on i think his name is henry um or hoover his name is hoover um, he's a debriefer on, on things that go wrong in the pilot seat. Hoover was telling about another story where this guy had his whole family, his whole family aboard the plane. Okay? It was like a, it's like a jet something he was, he was riding. And it was a single engine, and he was riding it around, and it got dark on him, and he was supposed to go into the airport. He did it twice already visually, but this is a, a night landing. You know how things look in the dark when you look outside of a window from an airplane? You can't tell spit because everything has little lights on it, blinking, blinking, and um, to know where you're going, and you can't see the horizon because it's dark outside. you got clouds hanging low. And he, he got on the thing. He was trying to be cordial and nice. I can't find the airport. Uh, I'm lost. I don't know where I'm going. And the guy says, well, do you, can you configure it? Because um, you got to do your math and all that. And he's running out of time. He didn't have time to go into trigonometry to try to figure out what's going on and why, you know, he's so floating off course. He just said, I give up. You think about that. Saying that you just give up and your family is screaming in the back. Saying that you just give I can't find the airport. He smashed all into the ground. His family, all of them, even himself, died. Dying without Christ is in vain. If he had a, a, a mustard seed of Christ in his life, he could have said, you know, Lord, save me. Save the plane. Save the family. And the, the plane could have just glided onto some green grass and slid across it. And everybody would have been saved. 
Don't live your life without Christ, no matter what it looks like. Sometimes it looks like you got the bottom of the barrel. Sometimes it looks like all darkness have come across and you're just sitting there like, boy, I have hit the rock bottom. Don't give up on Christ. He'll get you out of any kind of situation. I don't care what it is. Ask the Lord to forgive you of your sins, all your iniquities and trespasses. Hang on to Christ no matter how it looks. I don't care if you're just hanging on like this with, with, with white knuckles hanging on to something. Hang on, people. Hang on to Christ. He would get you out of any kind of situation. And if you look under my my videos that I have posted, uh, living your life without Christ, it'll go through all the people that have lived their lives without Christ. And it's just so much more. And that just draws me more closer and closer to the Lord because I don't want to live my life without Christ because I don't want to go to hell. And it's not just that. I want to see Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, who been through all the, the hurt, harm, dangers, and all this stuff in the world for me so I can live forever in his presence. Don't live your life without Christ, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. And God bless you. And remember, I would bless the Lord at all times. His praise always shall continually be in my mouth. God bless you guys. Bye. Depotter.